Vanessa, you know her from Deal or No Deal. She is extremely more beautiful in person than oh. in the show. Thank you. Oh, of course. And you smell lovely. Is it that fragrance? I, that I just um, smelt, I mean, <laughs> sprayed. <laughs> that doesn't even sound good. I know. I just <laughs> okay, I'll just be quiet. Um, no, no, no. No, I uh, I just had some some wonderful people visit, stop by my booth, and uh, give us a sample of their cologne or perfume, and it's it? called Black Widow. I actually, you tell me. Oh, it's not bad. Apparently, it's got three levels uh, to the way it smells. So. How did you smell yeah. before the perfume? That's the question. Uh, not as good as I do now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> so I was asking your friend here about uh, Deal or No Deal and Howie Mandel. And mm -hmm. What was it like from your perspective? Uh, from my perspective, it was kind of cool because I'm originally from Australia and I had never, um, never met Howie or never seen him apart from seeing him on TV late night uh, right. with uh, Jay Leno or whatever. And I always thought he was hilarious. I'm like, who is this guy? He's so weird, wacky, and, and crazy. And I kind of had a crush on him, because not in that way, but right, just right. because of his like weird, wacky sense of humor. He was like charming and witty, and, and I like that. So, but um, and then it just ended up that I ended up working with him, which was kind of weird. So, but in a good well, way. Fun, right? But fun. He's a great dude to work with, and uh, we all had a blast. And uh, yeah, we tried to high five him a few times, you but you know, no. It's always like this. Howie! <laughs> no. <laughs> so, besides uh, Deal or No Deal and, and everything else, what, what have you worked on in the past, say, year or so? Past year or so? Um, hmm. Not as much as I'd like. <laughs> okay, so you're looking for more work? I'm, well, I, I think I'm always looking for more work. I'm just, not so much the work, but the challenge. I'm always looking to challenge myself in different directions. Um, I also do TV hosting like yourself. Okay. Um, but you're pretty good at it. Okay, thanks. Damn. I appreciate that. I'm jealous. No, but you are good. I'm actually a director of my own film company, so I do movies like that. So nice. I, don't, I don't really do this, but I like uh, to. Well, you're pretty good at it. Thanks. So. I appreciate that. I'm starting yeah. to sweat a little more now, guys. Here, I'll help you out, but <laughs> it's kind of tight. Um, no, I, host a, a, I hosted a, uh, a travel show called Bikini Destinations. Uh, it was on HDNet I TV. Heard of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did that while I was also working on Deal or No Deal. A lot of traveling, a lot of great times, a lot of great memories, but um, I kind of just, I needed a break from the traveling. It was so exhausting, but at the same time, a wonderful perk for my job. Um, but, uh, you know, I've been so blessed to, to work with so many wonderful people in the business that I'm in, and um, I have no complaints. That's awesome. Yeah. You sound happy. I'm very happy go-getter. I, I love what I do, and so, I love meeting my fans, and yeah, that's what I'm here for. All right. <laughs> what would someone, your fans, find on your DVR? How about that? If you even watch Find on my DVR. Um, that is a really good question. I like that question. Um, currently, nothing, because I don't have cable. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question with a good answer. Yeah, it makes it simple. I have Netflix. So do I. I love Netflix. Yay, that's awesome. Five. What are your favorite things um, to watch? Oh my gosh, I haven't even had time to sit down and watch Netflix. Actually, you know what, I, I, a DVD that I've, I've, really, um, I've really started to enjoy watching, because it takes me a few times to finish a movie, because I like to put it on before I go to sleep, I'll, then I'll fall thing. asleep, and then the next night I'll try, I'll fall asleep again. Anyway, but right now it's called Dog Day Afternoon or something with Al Pacino. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my god. These girls are making me sweat, it's crazy. So. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing. Uh, well, I'm going to be on the season premiere of Drop Dead Diva on Sunday. Awesome. Uh, Kim Kardashian, I think, is uh, doing her debut. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, and I was just on touch with Kiefer Sutherland a couple of weeks ago. The awesome. episode Zone of, of Exclusion, uh, playing an Italian, Italian lady. I've seen a lot of previews for that show. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I haven't seen good. it yet, though. I think they just had the finale, actually, yeah, for yeah, Touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen a lot of previews. I, I, for some reason, like she said, my DVR is empty because I don't. I have cable, but I just don't watch TV. I watch Netflix. Oh, so okay. then, when it comes out on Netflix, which right. it usually does, then I can just watch it without stopping. Then, oh, you know? okay. Yeah, right, so. right, right. Oh, cool. If I did have cable, I'd be watching Walking Dead, True Blood. Um, yeah, all those gory type of dark. Did you like um, being human? Either of you? I have. 
haven't seen that. The vampire werewolf and a ghost live in an apartment? Because the vampire guy's here, Sam Witwer. What's the punchline? <laughs> That's what he says. He's like, it's like a joke. A vampire and a werewolf and a ghost walk into a bar. And? Yeah, it's funny. It's a good show, though. If you, if you like Walking Dead and True Blood, then you would like those shows. Oh, okay. And Touch is like a little fantasy. What's the premise? Well, Kiefer's son, well, Kiefer's wife died at 9-11. And uh, they have a son who doesn't speak, but he sort of like sees these numbers and somehow or another these numbers correlate to different people and kind of trying to reunite them and... Is there like a fantasy element? It's like a synchronicity, you know, kind of, yeah, synchronicity, how we're all connected all over the world. Right. And it was the first show actually that premiered all over the world on the same day. Wow. Oh. Cool. Yeah, so they were trying to use like social media to kind of create hype about the show and everything. Yeah, what do you guys think of the way the world works now with all this technology? Oh, I love it. It's great because okay. it really keeps people connected. I, I, you know, well, with Facebook, everybody like, you know, people are like, oh, Facebook, you know, they poo poo it. But I'm like, you know, and I've kept in touch with my cousins. <laughs> Did you just say poo poo it? Poo it? No, poo poo it. They, Facebook. Facebook, we poo-poo you. No, but I actually like I embrace I embrace it because it's kept me in touch with my family in Italy and Argentina and I think it's great. Normally I I feel the same way. Yeah, I have family I in Spain and I could talk to them all the time. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that with Skype, same thing, video chat. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same way, yeah. Australian families That's cool. going on. It's yeah. good to hear that yeah. technology is being used in a positive way. Yeah. You know? cool. right. Thank you ladies. I had so much fun. Thank you. I have to go like wipe all this sweat off now. Yeah. No, it's okay. And yeah, and she signed my bottle with my letter of my first name. So like, I'm not going to ever throw this out because she, yeah, she did it for me. So awesome. Thanks guys. You're welcome. Appreciate Thank it. You. Oh yeah. The Howie, yes. the Howie bump. Yes. <laughs>